By the way guys, before we start this video, I want to let you know that I'm making the full-time GoDev course, which is an exclusive program that contains all the building blocks for people that want to be professionally active as a Golang engineer. This program contains 10 years of my Golang experience divided in chapters ranging from beginner to expert. We will cover the Golang basics, concurrency, and move on to building real-world projects. Nothing in this program is scripted, it's all organically recorded so you can see me make mistakes which you can learn from. There is also a chapter specifically dedicated on how to land a job where we will cover on how to make your resume appealing, organizing your GitHub profile and how to build confidence as a developer. And my treat to you guys, you will get a complete chapter on how to build a blockchain from scratch for free, not the one from YouTube, but a complete new one. The course is currently on pre-sale, you get 30% off, by the end of the month it's completely finished and the prices will range. So hurry up and I'm looking forward to see you in the program. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is each time, right, each time we receive this message here, foo, uh, this one, received foo, we're going to do some metrics, right? We want to know how long it took uh, for this message, we want to know, uh, we want to know everything, you know what I mean? Uh, just like a girl, they want to know everything, or a woman. Um, how are we going to do this? So what I'm thinking to do is, um, I'm going to make it, I'm going to call this Prometrix. And it's going to be a structure. So we can actually uh, do some stuff later on. And then we need to do a trick. And I need to check how I did this because I forgot. So we need to have with hooks here. Uh, let me copy this thing. Let's put some things, things over. Here, comment that out. What do we need still? This thingy with hooks. Let's copy that. Just for the actually, to be honest. <clears throat> and then kill this screen. All right. I'm going to uh, comment this out. Yes. We have a problem here. This G. Get them out of here. Okay, so we're going to spawn uh, this actor, but we're going to spawn it with middleware, and it's going to be with matrix. So we're going to do something like this, func p pointer to prom matrix, and we're going to say here, um, with matrix or something, I have no clue. That's going to be this function here, which is very weird. An actor receive func it's going to return an actor to receive func it's fine and to be honest do we need that can we not just do we will do it later on it doesn't matter let's copy this here boom missing return that's all fine and then we need to return this func I'm getting funky just like that cannot use func next actor Um, let's go around here. Return funk next, yeah. Return funk C actor context, yes. Oh wait, I see, I see what's going on here. Uh, with matrix is gonna be this guy, which return this guy. Looking good to me. All right. Um, what is up? Look, then. What is up? What is up? I will answer. I will answer the questions all, uh, all, all, all together, all together later on, later on, guys. No worries, no worries, no worries. I got your back, um, but I don't want to be out of out of focus, right? So now we have this pro matrix uh, with matrix thing here. So what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna check here if I can access the message itself because we need that. So we're gonna say. Um, FMT, let's do this. Start is going to be a time now. I'm going to do that later on. Um, println message from intercepted. Intercepted. If that's intercepted, see message. Looks good to me. And then we're going to call next. You know that? With the context. You know what I mean? Classic middleware shenanigans. 
Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna boot up this thing with an actor uh, dot with middleware <laughs> like this, and then we're gonna say uh, prom. Yeah, we're gonna make a constructor. We're gonna make a constructor. No worries, guys. But now we're gonna not do it. We're gonna do it later on because there is nothing to construct, right? We're gonna say maybe this pointer then uh, prom matrix, just like this, and then we're gonna say. with matrix cannot coil pointer method okay okay it's fine it's fine no problem hey it's fine it's fine it's fine Long everything in here paste that in here uh, delete everything in here and then we're gonna say that the p handler or p matrix p matter Let's make it good. P, actually, to be honest, P matrix is this guy. And we're gonna do P matrix. Cannot call pointer with matrix from. Oh, boom, boom, what's going on? Oh, yeah, I see. It's a fucking. Yeah, okay. Okay, so you cannot do that in Go because we can't. So we're gonna make this first this one, delete this one, and then do this one, and say uh, with matrix this one. And now I made a mistake. Uh, actor, uh, yeah, maybe not another one. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We're done, right? And if we right now, if we do this again, we're gonna uh, run this thing. You see, now we have intercepted uh, one. This is gonna be the actor started, the uh, actor initialized, actor. Um, started and it's going to be intercepted to full message all working fine cool right um what is my id it's a uh, neo vim okay the next thing we're going to do is actually install um prometheus so how is it going to work first of all what i'm going to do go to a github uh, you see this guy here well let me zoom in boom, 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 boom. 150 for the blind homies <clears throat> this is an example from uh, Prometheus client Golang. And what we're going to do is the only thing we're going to do in this example is copy this. Yes, that's correct. Uh, so we're going to say clear the screen, go get, we paste that in, boom, just like that. Of course, we made a mistake. Uh, that's a problem. But that's no problem because we are problem solvers. And then we press enter. Let me do a go mod tidy maybe. You know what I mean? Tidy things up. Once that is done, we have basically installed uh, Prometheus uh, Golang client, right? So what Prometheus will do basically is um, you need to expose a handler, an HTTP handler, and it will um, automatically, automatically already uh, gather a lot of metrics for you, right? And I will show you. So what you're going to do here, this guy can be gone. Um, we're gonna say, let me let me show you. We're gonna say HTTP listen and serve. Actually, I'm not, not quite sure how we're gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna say, we, we, we pick a port. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna pick 222. And there's a reason for it. Uh, but you can pick any port, you know what I mean? Um, listen and serve, I think. Do we need this prom handler here? Prom HTTP handler. Is that is that the play here? Not quite sure. I think it is. Um, okay, this is gonna block our whole application. Hey, I'm aware. No worries, but I'm gonna show you. Go run. That's not true. I'm gonna do this. No, this one. Yes. Um, God damn it. Do we need to? Do we need to install this bullshit? All right, you need to install it. Apparently, right? Just uh, do what he do do what he tells you. Okay, so basically now the program I'm gonna try this. Uh, let me try to localhost without leaking nudes. Two 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 matrix. All right, look at this beautiful. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger for the blind homies. You see, so this is basically an exposed two 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 port uh, slash matrix, and that's coming from Prometheus itself, right? That's all these metrics is what you have out of the blue, right? 
And today we're going to cover Prometheus itself, but in the full-time Godev program, I'm covering also Grafana, right? Because Grafana will basically pull these things uh, from Prometheus and make a very, very nice dashboard. Although you could have already some kind of a dashboard, I'm going to show you later on, because um, later on. But yeah, this is basically, you could see, uh, you have, for example, the go routines and all that shenanigans and, and the, alloc the duration of the go garbage collector. And you have a lot of stuff, guys. It's insane, right? So we're going to put that aside. Okay, cool. <clears throat> the problem is that, of course, this thingy is blocking our application, right? So we're going to put this in a go routine, go funk, hop, hop, and call it a day. You know what I mean? That's what we're going to do. So this guy will basically be scheduled in another go routine and all good. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the next thing what we could do here is, uh, for example, we could say, uh, let's first install Prometheus, right? Let's first get that, get that thing done. So I'm going to quit this thing, go back to CD, CD into prom, Prometheus. Look at this. This is basically the Prometheus repository. You just go to github.com slash, I don't know, Prometheus or something, and you basically clone the project. And I think you need to do make build or make install. It doesn't really matter. You guys are smart enough to figure out how to install that thing, right? Um, <laughs> this Windows song really is insane. But what I have here is a CD prom. And this is basically a folder. Can you guys actually see this? You can uh, seems like terminal is missing more space fonts. Yeah, maybe. I have these, these, these shenanigans here. The most important thing uh, you need to remember is basically this Prometheus YAML file, right? Let's uh, vim into this thing. Prometheus YAML, boom. So you need to have this configuration. It's all on the internet, but I'm going to cover it a little bit. You're basically going to say scrape interval, scrape timeout, evaluation interval, all that stuff, right? The amount of seconds it takes before it's going to scrape for new metrics because what prometheus if you're going to boot up the prometheus client itself the daemon basically what it will do is it will scrape your 222 slash metrics endpoint right for these metrics okay um the metrics path metrics that's uh default i guess and then we're gonna have uh targets this is important right you see this guy here these targets localhost 2222 that's basically uh, our handler we just created in our project i'm here for the windows sound yeah can i do this can i can i force this sound how do i force this sound i can't cannot force the sound i'm so sorry um, i basically was also uh, setting up my uh, my linux ubuntu system on my uh, new pc but the problem is uh, recording is slow for some reason i don't know what it is i need to figure it out it's it's linux and it's drivers it's <laughs> All right, uh, that's what you need, right? And then I have this uh, run script. Look at this. This is not a run script. This is not a run script. This is a run script. It's basically a Docker run. I'm going to run this in a Docker container. Uh, is that what I'm going to do? Is that the play? Well, I'm actually, uh, well, we are using a Docker container. You know what I mean? So you don't need to install Prometheus. You can just do this, copy this line and you're good. Uh, and it will be in the Hollywood repository. So you can find it there. So basically we're going to do this thing. And I, I don't think this is correct, to be honest. I don't think it's going to work if I remember, because I was trying this a couple days ago for something else. And the problem was that, let me open up it again, um, because I'm using this borked WSL. Prometheus cannot uh, connect to this 222 port. Shit. Um, I think I did something like um, dot dot slash Prometheus. There is your window sound. Uh, Prometheus, there is your window sound once again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, and then min min dash dash, by the way. Um, I think it's config.file. This is so fucking wrong. How, how, can somebody know how, how can I turn this bell off? I think it's this one. And I press enter. It's that easy. It's that easy. But now we have a problem. Let me open up another terminal because I'm not the TMX guy. I missed that boat. 
I missed that fucking boot, I'm not gonna lie. Um, let me quickly do something on the other screen here, guys, I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> you can see what I'm doing, right? <laughs> Prometheus, let me uh, quickly figure this out. Uh, gonna be minimum config. Dot file um, is gonna be the same thing we did before, right? going on each let me open up um did i make a mistake here prometheus no, no 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 this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong this is the play yeah it's fine okay cool so now it's running my bad for this uh, little um inconvenience here and if people are uh, Linux specialists, let me know because I I have the biggest the biggest uh, stack, um, but it, it's just slow. I don't know what it is. Um, all right. So once you started Prometheus, what you could do is uh, you can go. What's going on here? Let me move this. It's so annoying in streaming. You always need to be careful with all your windows, right? So we need to go to a local host. I will show you directly, guys. No worries. Um, that's going to be 9090. You see, you go to 9090 here. And now you have the Prometheus dashboard, right? It's so annoying. What's going on with my screen? Is this? It seems like it's transparent or something. What's going on? Okay. It's so annoying. It's 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 transparent for some reason on my screen. Anyway, um, what's slow about it? It just I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I will explain later on. Uh, okay, cool. So basically, right now we can actually search some stuff. You could basically he is gonna give you a lot of these um, metrics. For example, go maps at uh, m cache says bytes. Click, and it's basically execute, and it's going to give you. A result is zero well, for some reason i don't know wait let me quickly check here status targets of course it cannot find metrics that's what i'm thinking so what we need to do here is um cd back to youtube here uh, hollywood by the way wood and um, go run examples metrics may not go boom of course right and now we're gonna wait for 15 seconds and then it's gonna pick up this um I'm a, I'm a complete idiot. Um, I'm a complete idiot because the problem is our application will exit here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. Boom. Delete the sleep. The go funk is for later on. Right? That's that. It's fine. Let's run this bad boy. Boom. Boom. Okay, cool. Now we are good, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so let's refresh a little bit. And this guy is basically going to pick up our end server. And guys, let me know. Do you guys see transparent on my uh, camera? Can you see some transparent stuff? I'm not quite sure what's going on. Uh, yeah, okay. You see, now localhost is up, right? So basically, Prometheus has found our uh, application's handler. And it's pulling metrics from it. So right now, we could go um, alerts graph. And then we're going to check for some example. Uh, Go maps at malox, for example. I don't know. Boom. It's going to be here 591. Something like that, right? And can you imagine you have a beautiful, um, you can have a graph like this. Problem is one hour is bad. So you make it one minute and you have a nice, beautiful graph, right? But what if we could post or push our own metrics, right? That's, hey, that's the play. Um, yes, transparent. Why is this thing? What's going on here? Let me quickly check here. Properties. Uh, custom. Oh wait, I know what it is. It's the fucking gamma probably from my fucking filter. Uh, display capture. Wait. Razor. Let me quickly do on the fly, guys. This is technical technical debugging on the fly. Wait. Filters OBS man. Color color correction. You see? Hey, we fixed it. I think it's better. It's fine. All right, now we fixed it, right? 
Okay, cool. Custom metrics, let's do that. Back in Vim, um, let's kill this guy here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we have this Prometheus uh, structure here. So we could do something like, um, for example, message count. It's going to be, I think it's a Prometheus counter. It's gonna be an interface, so it's no pointer. Uh, we're also gonna have something like um, latency. Latency. And that's going to be a Prometheus histogram. Prometheus histogram. Just like that. Of course, now we need to have this uh, beautiful constructor. New prom matrix returning a prom matrix pointer. Dog is barking. A new prom matrix here. Um, Let's return Prometrix, the pointer, by the way. Prometrix like that. And we're going to say, for example, the message counter is going to be, and I'm going to be very lazy, we're going to say prom auto dot um, new counter. <coughs> and I think this needs um, Prometheus counter options I think counter ops and I think it's going to have a message or a, a help yeah counter of the messages the actor received S -s -s. I don't know um we also need something else here uh, I think it's going to be the name yeah, baby, it's the name. And the name needs to be something like that. For example, actor underscore message underscore counter. Something like that. There's a problem here because uh, let's say we have multiple actors with different names. Then they're going to have the same name here, right? So that's going to be problematic. We're going to fix that very soon. Um, return prom matrix. So let's start with the counter. So we're going to say the message counter is going to be the message counter. It's easy as that, right? Uh, that's that. So now we're going to have a problem here because this boy here is going to be... What's going on, man? Messages all over the place. Uh, this is going to be a new pro matrix. And you could construct with other values. I don't know. You could construct your matrix somewhere else. It doesn't really matter, right? It's just for sake of an idea here. Um, I think we're good, by the way. No, we're not good because... I think we're good. No, we don't. This with hooks, you can delete this thing. All fine. And then here, 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 here. Each time we're gonna have a message, right? Here, this thing is basically each time it, it intercepts a message. So what we're gonna do here is p dot message counter dot uh, ink, just like that. You see? And that's why we basically attach the function receiver to Prometrix, which seems a method, but it's actually a function because it's syntactic sugar, but it's an endless discussion. We're not going to do, right? Uh, and if you want to see in depth of these metrics, how you, this is for actors, but we also, I'm, I'm also covering this for your normal microservices. It's in the full-time good 30% off, check it out. Today's main sponsor, by the way. Um, this, we're gonna delete that stuff here. Actually, to be honest, we can't, right? Um, it's for later. Message counter. Okay, cool. So what's gonna happen is, what we're gonna do here, uh, we're gonna make a... Um, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a go funk here for this boy. <clears throat> Just like that. And then we're gonna say a new actor. That's fine. Prometrix perfectly fine and then we're gonna loop here how long forever we're gonna time sleep time second and we're gonna say uh, engine sent me to this bit message data let's make a y it's gonna be zero uh, we're gonna send data is going to be fmt s prrr. 
printf s by the way s printf by the way uh, and that's going to be message to foo percentage d y y plus plus actually to be honest okay unreachable code thank you very much um, yeah, so basically what's going to happen is it's going to send messages every second and we're going to pick that up into our Prometheus shenanigans, right? So let's start this thing and see if it's going to work. Um, all right, so basically it's it's printing out that it's receiving messages, but we are going to check that here in our beautiful thing. So let's get, let's go to targets real quick. Okay, metrics is up. Let's refresh for the for certainty, right? All good. Up, green, green things. Perfectly fine. Uh, we go back to graph and then we are gonna say how did we call that actor message counter here boom execute bam and you see we have 19 19 messages graph one hour is too much let's delete that a little bit you see it's basically going up and up and up and up that's how you actually add custom metrics in Prometheus and this is basically for the actor model but you can already see it works in Golang for every single thing right it's, you just need to know how to weave it in you know what I mean weave things in uh, we're gonna do a last metric before I'm gonna answer some questions and that is the latency right latency very important we want to measure if I'm receiving messages how long does it took to process these boys so we're going to call this this histogram. We already did this. So we're going to say uh, MSG latency. Oh, fine. MSG latency is going to be a prom auto. If you don't use prom auto, you need to register it manually. But hey, if it's an auto, it's an auto. Prometheus um, histogram options. Yeah, it's the same thing, right? A name. And the name is going to be um, actor message latency copy this once again because we're going to do the help and we're just going to leave it like that but without these things right boom boom okay we also need buckets here um and that's another topic just need buckets which is a slide a slice um, it's basically for your i have no clue don't tell anyone you just need buckets guys and we make zero zero point one One. You can make as much bucket as you want. <laughs> uh, it's needed for your um, histogram, right? Guys, come on. If you didn't know that, it's for your histogram, right? And then we're going to say uh, MSG latency here, and it's going to be the MSG latency, right? And you could see you can mix as much metrics as you want, right? Um, there is no, sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. How do we do that? Well, the first thing we're going to do is time start. We're going to say start here at the beginning. You're going to say time now and then here we're going to say um latency is going to be time since start seconds if you want it in milliseconds you want it in milliseconds you want it in nanoseconds you can do it in nanoseconds it doesn't really matter to be honest in seconds that's And then we're going to say P M latency observe MS. Cannot use variable type N64 as flow 64. <laughs> Cannot use MS variable of type N64. Is that true? Fuck you. We take seconds. That's what we're going to do. For some reason, seconds is returning us a float. Uh, but that's fine. Right? And then uh, we're basically just going to boot this thing up. Uh, like this. 
and then we're going back to our uh, beautiful thingy here we're going to see if we can find for example actors uh, we maybe need to wait a little bit it's up that's fine we need to understand that sometimes if you boot it up directly it 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 did, blah, blah, it did not scrape it already if that makes sense Okay, and then you have these things, right? You have actor, MSG, latency bucket, latency count, and latency sum. There is not really much you can do with it. It's more for Grafana that can basically um, use these things to make a new, uh, a beautifully um, chart, histogram, whatever you want to call it. But you could say latency sum or count or something is going to be the same. Again, 36 is going to be the same as messages. You could also do something like... Um, What's the sum? Nobody knows. I don't know what I mean. Take it in a graph. Make it a little bit more smaller. Show that to your colleagues. And <laughs> you're a god. You know what I mean? And you have no clue what's going on. But it doesn't need to be. Because it's graphics. You know what I mean? Graphics. Wow, nice. Look at this. It's an uptrend. You know? All right. That's basically it for... Uh